This is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you so much for joining me. I do a daily numerology and astrology, and today's is for September 18th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 22. And if you add the two and the two together, you get the number four. The number four is about harmony, balance, alignment, win-win, cooperation. And with the number four leading the day and the moon in the communication sign of Libra, also a balancing sign, finding common ground to communicate is going to be the theme. While that may be challenging, know that it is important so that you can work towards peace. Too much energy has been given to finding the differences and finding fault in our world. We have to come together in some way. Feel into the love into your heart and let the love be the focus rather than the differences. The astrology today. As the moon goes into Libra and continues in Libra, uh, it is a negotiating sign and there's a desire to seek a better balance in your life. Family comes first and connecting in harmonious ways are more important than ever. The moon aligns with Libra in the evening. Finding a common ground in a world on the edge of civil war is more important than ever. Mercury and the Neptune quincux and make uh, uh, ne Mercury and Neptune quincux and make concentration a bit of a challenge. It feels as if there is no common ground. Focus is going to be tricky to maintain. It might feel as if you're all over the place. We feel as if we are standing in uncertainty and on unstable ground. You will need to have both your right and your left brain integrated. You need to have logic and intuition to try and make them work in unison. Do not let daydreams take you off course. The enemy uses disorganization in order to control. My quote for today. When will the world see past ownership and property when will the value become more than beauty and those so young? This world you see is more than you know. It shows a reality that you have yet to go. May you find the path that leads you home. Until then, may you joyfully roam. My blog for today. Once upon a time, there was a tiny chipmunk. He watched and waited while a wisteria vine grew closer and closer to the bird feeder, hanging just out of reach. Each day he would climb the vine, and each day it was not quite close enough for him to reach the seeds. But he was patient and calculated the progress and got tantalizingly closer to the bird feeder as the months progressed. He had to calculate if his weight would hold under the new growth of the wisteria vine. In Japan, wisteria symbolize love, sensuality, support, sensitivity, and bliss. It is the symbol of consciousness expanding. As the vine expanded, so did the mind of the sweet, cute, and calculating chipmunk. Mythology says that this vine is toxic to demons and repels dark forces. So it is clear that the chipmunks are not controlled by demons because the chipmunk plays innocently through the complex vines filled with love and hope in reaching his goal. Until yesterday, when I discovered that very same determined chipmunk joyfully sitting on the bird feeder blissfully stuffing sunflower seeds in his mouth to take home to his family. How much patience do you have? How much persistence do you utilize daily in reaching your goal? The chipmunk taught me much about both of those. While I think I have patience and persistence, I recognize that I do not have the peace while I am waiting. That is what the chipmunk has learned. Each of us has personal goals. We must learn to find peace as those goals naturally unfold. While we need to pay attention and not give up hope, we must discover how to have a peaceful time existing while we wait for something wonderful to unfold. Thanks, everyone.